hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is contains duplicate in this question we're given an array called nums we have to return true if any of the value occurs at least twice in the array we have to return false if every element is distinct in the given array so if you take a look at the example here you can see that one appears twice there is a duplicate so you have to return true now let's take a look at the steps we need to follow to solve this problem so let's take this example first we have to create a hash set of integers because we are going to use the fact that hash set does not contain duplicate values so we'll add one element at a time from start to end into the hash set and once you find a duplicate element you can return true so that is the overall approach so for that let's iterate through the input array from start to end if the hash set already contains that element you have to return true if that element is not present inside the hash set then add that element into the hash set so for this example i've already created a hash set here we're going to iterate through the input array from start to end so let's start with this element there is no element present inside so add that element into the hash set now coming to the second element we're going to check if 2 is present inside the hash set no it is not present so you can add 2 coming to the next element you have a 3 we'll check that if 3 is present inside the hash set no it's not present so add that element into the hash set now we're going to check if 1 is present inside the hash set yes 1 is already present inside the hash set so you can return true coming to this example the three elements have already been added the last element is 4 which is not present inside the hash set so you add that element into the hash set and we have reached the end of the array so after the for loop ends if true hasn't been returned till now it means that there is no duplicate found like in this case so you can return false as the output so let's try to implement this logic in a java program as i've mentioned let us start off by creating a hash set which will contain integers I'm going to name it set. Now that we have the hash set, let us iterate through the input array nums from start to end. So let's access the element at the ith index position inside the nums array. So if set dot contains nums of i we can return true so if that element is not present inside the hash set you can add that element into the set so set dot add of nums of i and now outside the for loop you can return false which means that till now you haven't returned true and it implies that there is no duplicate found so you'll return false for the answer so let's run the code there you have it you're getting the expected answer let's submit the code there you have it, our solution has been accepted. That's it guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.